Hey everyone, today we have another Indiana Jones adventure series video today. I wasn't sure that I was going to continue collecting this line, but I got a lot of support from you guys on my videos so far, including the shelf series video where I show everything in the line so far. I got this Henry Jones and Indiana Jones from Big Bad Toy Store. They are currently in stock, and I got the two-pack from Amazon. Indiana Jones isn't the focus of my channel. I usually focus on Star Wars The Black Series, so please give this video a like if you would like to see more Indiana Jones content in the future. Here are all four figures next to each other. Obviously, a lot of reuse going on here. This whole line is basically guys in suits or Indiana Jones. Anyway, looking at the accessories that come with the two-pack here, this book is actually really nice. It has a nice detailed print on the inside. And then one of the tiniest accessories that has ever come with a six-inch figure is this tiny little apple here. Hard to see on camera, but it looks like an apple. It's got the little paint detail on the stem, and it does actually fit tightly in his hand. I was worried that this would be like a really dangerous accessory that was gonna, at risk of getting eaten by the carpet monster, but it actually is really tight in those three fingers there. And then the book does fit in his hand. It would be nice to have that wrist hinge, but these all have the bowl jointed wrists, so he can kind of hold the book just like that. The gun fits nicely into Bellic's hand, and you can get him in a little bit of a walking pose like we see in some of the art. And here he is in his alternate appearance. Obviously, the figure on the left is much more extravagant, so I'm curious which one of these people will be displaying more frequently. It's pretty crazy to see a two-pack in a toy line of just like two guys in suits for over $50, but maybe this will sell well. I wouldn't be surprised to see this set on deep clearance. This indie is really nice. He's got the full long sleeve jacket here with the necktie that is a separate piece. The way that this figure line is designed is so interesting because you can tell that they really had the whole line in mind when they planned out how they were going to engineer these figures with all the different overlays and different neck pieces with the different ties. The whip attachment is still a pain and then this articulated hat is something unique. It only really moves up and down. You can't really get it to tilt side to side because the way that it works it has this little peg here. Sorry for this nightmare fuel right here but I had to see it now you have to see it. But that's how that works so yeah it only really moves front to back which you know it I, I don't really see the need for that. It's a nice, I guess it's better than nothing. It'd be nice if all the figures had that, but it doesn't really add too much to the figure. And the holster is still kind of a pain. You can get the gun in here, unlike one of the other figures that I had where it was almost like sealed shut. But then you have these awful little toggle pegs here that just like, I just don't feel like these do the job at that scale. His whip is a little bit shorter than what we've seen before. And it has a little bit less of an S curve to it. It's just kind of more of like a U curve here. So it can sit a little bit more naturally. I kind of like this whip a little bit better, even though it is shorter. And then the gun is the same thing, just in a bit of a darker black compared to the one that came in the Belloc 2-pack. We also get the leg of the table for our build an artifact here. Fits together pretty self-explanatorily. It's the only part of that that comes with Indy, but then the cool accessories, like all the grails, actually come with Henry Jones Sr., which I think is the most exciting figure out of these four because it is a new character and it's a Sean Connery action figure. I mean, how could that not be cool? His hat is removable because he doesn't have hair under there that needs to get squished down, so we're able to fit his bald head under there. And I really think the accessories he comes with look beautiful. He has has this little umbrella that has a little hidden trick that I will show you in a little bit. And then the suitcase, nicely weathered there. Nice to see that dry brushing on there. His glasses fit on his face nicely. It's a really nice, clean, clear glasses, which we haven't seen that much in 12th scale before. And then he also has his little moleskin notebook here, which looks great and has that really clean paint job with a little black stripe there. Looking at some of the build and artifact figures, we have some of the grails here that will be on the grail table. We also have the silver plate medallion and the little flaming bowl here that are going to look like this on the table when they are done. I think this is the best build and artifact that they have done so far. I haven't really covered articulation on any of these figures because we've gotten so many in the line. It's a lot of the joints on these were really tight when I got them, so just be careful when moving them around. But yeah, the articulation is pretty much the same that we've seen on all of the figures so far since they are only on a couple of different bodies that they just keep reusing. And then the little hidden trick I mentioned was the umbrella has these two little holes in it so it can peg onto the suitcase here and it can sit and balance right on top, which I thought is so cool. It just is such a nice looking accessory. We're going to do some comparisons in a little bit, but I just wanted to get them next to each other here. Two really great figures, I have to say. I really love what they're doing with the line. It feels really well thought out and planned. I'm not the biggest Indiana Jones fan. I've only seen the movies a couple times each, but there's still such a sense of fun and inspiration with these figures. It seems like they got a lot of permission to kind of do whatever they wanted with the line. Here are some of the Indies and Han Solo, since I have actually been asked before to compare Indy to Han 
Han Solo, and I don't think I've ever done that in one of my videos before, so here's what that looks like. You can see the Han is just a little bit shorter. So please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Again, I do mostly Star Wars content, but I also cover the Indiana Jones Adventure series, obviously. You'll see a video on your screen right now that kind of recaps everything that has come out so far, and then a playlist to see some of the more individual reviews that I've done for Indiana Jones. And I will have the rest of this wave coming in soon with like the Grail Knight and those other figures from Dial of Destiny. Here are some other videos from my channel that you might enjoy. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.